back in the dark ages of cable news, when we'd milk a single news event for weeks, in some cases, and we're talking to you. Come again? What kind of examples? Jay Simpson for months and months and months. There just wasn't that much going on. Show is some freaky shit. So you couldn't afford to waste a good story. That is not the problem we are having these days. The problem now is the opposite, of course. There's too much going on, and some of it's terrifying. In just the last week, China signed a $50 billion trade deal with Saudi Arabia, old Al- Ooh, that's a bingo. Signaling an end to America's longstanding global petro empire. That's not a small thing. Vladimir Putin, meanwhile, who runs Russia, once again threatened to launch a nuclear war on the West. Then it's ridiculous bullshit. Wall Street began laying off large numbers of people, which is not something you can ignore in an industry whose business it is to predict the future of the economy. And at the same time that was happening, the wealth of the average American household dropped to one of the lowest levels ever recorded. The CDC responded by trying to resurrect face masks because that'll help. Saying <laughs> Sam Bankman Freed got arrested. And then the Mexican drug cartels, which run the largest human trafficking operation since the transatlantic slave trade ended. For ethnic diversity, but this is just pan. 